Much like monitoring patient observations, what you don't measure, you don't know. If you don't know, you can't improve. Without ongoing measurement, there's no improvement, except by chance. One of the most important components of the CCDM program is the core data set. This is a set of 23 precise and prescribed measures. Within this set of measures, equal priority is placed on measuring the quality of patient care, the quality of the work environment for nurses and midwives, and best use of health resources. Together, the measures are designed to be simple, interrelated, and provide the story of the DHB's ability to match nursing and midwifery resource to the care needs of patients on every ward, every shift. Each DHB level has its own set with all of the same 23 measures. This way, every ward service and hospital within the DHB are all measuring the same things and accurate comparisons and conclusions can be made. It's important that these measures are displayed visually and readily available at all levels on preferably a user-friendly electronic system that allows everyone access and the ability to see the relationships between the measures. DHBs already collect a lot of data. In fact, the sheer volume of data that DHBs currently collect can be overwhelming. Many of the 23 core data set measures are already collected by our DHBs. However, many of these measures may be individually collected and analysed in different silos within the DHB. This can mean that the measures may be seldom, if ever, brought together in a way that provides the information and insight needed to accurately view day-to-day -day function and effectiveness. A case of drowning in data but lacking in insight. Internationally, the health sector has been lagging behind other industries in finding smart ways to bring together relevant and important information in a way that tells the story about the patients, staffing and the organisations functioning as a whole. There are some DHBs that are close to full implementation of CCDM and have now implemented the CCDM core data set. These DHBs have invested in a data visualisation tool to display and analyse the data as a set. This visualisation allows all levels of the DHB floor to board to recognise patterns and relationships between the measures in a way that's not easily seen using traditional reporting methods. This has helped DHB, CCDM councils and local data councils at ward level to gain new insights together and identify emerging trends. This is allowing them to work together to address quality or safety issues before they become bigger problems. What's important about this to nurses and midwives? Having a data set available at ward level in a way that can be easily analysed and viewed has allowed ward teams to fully understand where their CCDM issues lie. This supports the team to make local improvements at ward level and measure their effectiveness, as well as escalate these with clear evidence of the problem. The CDS ensures the use of the same measures are used from floor to board. It's important that it's visual and accessible at all levels of the DHB. This ensures that issues that are apparent to the ward staff are also apparent to the organisation. For instance, a key measure of patient safety in the core data set is shifts below target. As part of the DHB core data set, this is measured on every ward for every shift. This measure counts shifts where, according to the patient acuity system, the nursing midwifery care hours provided on the shift were less than 40 minutes per nurse or midwife FTE than the nursing midwifery hours required to match patient care needs for the shift. For wards that do not have trend care, shift below target is defined as a shift that has a deficit of eight hours or more from the planned nursing midwifery for that shift. For example, if seven staff are rostered to work in ED, but only six are on duty, then this would be counted as a shift below target. There's a substantial body of international evidence that demonstrates the association between patient outcomes and nurse midwife staffing. This evidence tells us that adequate nurse and midwifery staffing is key to improving patient care. 
Unsafe staffing levels put patients at risk and lead to nurses and midwives leaving the profession. Shifts below target is an important measure that provides a red flag regarding the safety of patients and as such a priority measure for all DHB management and boards. This shows how the core data set is interpreted. We can look at any measure that's out of the accepted range, then trace through the other measures in the core data set visually to identify other measures that are related and may also be out of the accepted range. This helps to better understand the likely cause of the issue and any likely impacts. This helps us to better understand the action that needs to be taken in order to effectively improve the situation. An example of how the core data set can help us identify the likely cause of an issue is shown here. If we, for instance, look at casual use, say this is unacceptably high, a situation that we know and that research confirms is not good for patients or nurses and midwives, neither is it the best use of our health resource. If we visually trace the other core data set measure to look at what may be causing this, we would look at the staff mix. For instance, are there fewer registered nurses or midwives rostered and available than we know we need and have planned to provide? We would also look at care hours variance and shifts below target. Both are trend care measures that may tell us that patient acuity was higher than the staff that were available to meet this. This is an unsafe situation for both patients and staff. If we look at the measures that might further explain why casual use was high, we may see that it's been caused by staff on unplanned leave, maybe sick leave, or that the patient acuity was higher than expected, or the ward had roster gaps, that is gaps in their planned roster that weren't filled. As well as identifying the likely cause, the core data set also shows the likely impact of an issue. It's important to understand this as well as the cause. This helps the DHB to ensure any improvement action is measured and is working to address the issue. If we look at high casual use again to understand what the likely impact of this might be, we need to look at patient incidents. Are reported patient incidents going up as a result? We should also look at patient satisfaction. Is this going down as a result? Also, are staff incidents going up? Is staff satisfaction going down? Or is there a financial impact, for example, total staffing hours going up? This slide gives another example of how we can interpret and analyse the core data set. For example, if we see that the emergency department length of stay is going up, this may also mean there are breaches of the Ministry of Health six-hour health target. To understand this better, we would visually trace through the core data set. In doing so, for example, we may identify that we're also seeing higher numbers of patients that are discharged later than planned. Tracing back further to identify the issue, we may identify, for instance, that there's been a poor staff mix in some of the wards, that the wards haven't had the staff available to match the patient demand when we analyse the care hours variance and shifts below target. In turn, this may be caused by staff on unplanned leave, maybe sick leave, or that the patient acuity was higher than expected, or the ward had roster gaps, that is, gaps in their planned roster that weren't filled. Here's what we know. The core data set measures the DHB's ability to match the demand for patient care with the required nursing and midwifery resource every ward, every shift. Shifts below target is a measure in the core data set. This measure shows whether the DHB has met the patient care needs for nursing and midwifery resource in every ward on every shift. This is an important patient safety measure that DHBs should closely monitor and report. The core data set helps DHBs to accurately identify their CCDM issues so the correct improvement action can be taken and their effectiveness measured. The core data provides consistent quality measurement across all wards and units and can bring staff together with shared purpose.
For more information on the Care Capacity Demand Management Programme, go to ccdm.health.nz.